It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to uh, Connor and Tanya, Tanya and Connor's wedding party. Connor and Tanya are special. I think we all know that. Each of them are incredibly impressive people. They're clever, funny and loving. Together, they epitomize what a relationship can only aspire to be. And they make it look easy. They were made for each other, then they found each other, and now they're here with us today. How amazing is that? In Celtic times, the best man's duty was to protect the bride and groom from other suitors and the bride's family. So so it was typically the best swordsman in the village that was chosen. So I now know it wasn't our 15 years of friendship that got me the job. It was definitely my sweet skills with a sword. I've always looked up to Tanya, not physically, obviously, but... Um, but I think Tanya is seriously one of the most amazing people I've ever met. She's just like one of the most caring and loving people. And I'm so proud to have her as my sister. Tanya, since that moment we met so many years ago, you've been the most wonderful and most radiant person I've ever met. Your kindness, your generosity, your maturity, your independence, your compassion, your honesty, your creativity, and your sense of adventure. It's because of all of these things that I so quickly fell in love with you. Not all of you may know, but I am the reason these two fabulous human beings came together. You're both welcome. <laughs> My brother invited us down for spring break in Florida. Connor and Tanya hit it off straight away, and let's just say for the second half of the trip, I didn't see them at all. Loving you is, and has always been effortless. I loved you instantly. When we first met, it was so fast and it was so intense. And I didn't know if it could last like that, but it's been almost nine years and has never faltered or faded. I love you with every ounce of that intensity. It has only deepened and matured. Spending my life alongside you has made and will make me a better man. And it's because of all of these things that I feel so honored to get the chance to love you more and more every day for the rest of my life. Tanya first came into our life, I think, I think eight or nine years ago, and, I, and, and the reason I'm not certain, and I mean, I mean this as a compliment, I don't remember the first time I met Tanya. Tanya came into our lives and it was like she had always been in our lives. She has, she has some special quality that I, I can't really explain, but it was like she was always there. Life is more funny, exciting and complete with you in it. No one knows me like you do, challenges me to the same degree, or makes me laugh as hard. And your passion and dedication for everything you do is contagious. I choose to love you every day, to fill your future with life, love, and laughter. You are my best friend, my one true love, and there's nothing more important to me than your safety and your happiness. As your husband, I promise to care for you and protect you, to comfort and encourage you, and to trust, cherish and respect you, and fill your life with love and excitement.
Tanya, as you probably, some of you know, was born on Christmas Day. And what a wonderful present you were to Merit and I. Tanya was born with an absolute inner strength. And I'm not just saying that. From the moment, oh jeez, excuse me. The moment she was born, she, there was something about her that had this inner strength. I promise to fiercely love you in all your forms, to grow old with you, stay young at heart, to stick by your side no matter what challenges come our way, and to encourage and inspire you the way you do me. I promise to be an amazing mother and that our kids will always know how much I love you. I promise your life will never be boring with me. <laughs> And that I will never, ever take you or our incredible, unique love for granted. You mean the world to me. I promise to be by your side always. I love you so much. We will run through the waves, and you ask me for a sign. Said my love is like an ocean, and it sounded like a lie. Make our way around the world, reaching every point of call. extremely honored that Connor uh, is to be my son-in-law. <laughs> He's smart, personable. You are both incredibly lucky to find each other. Connor spends his, his working week analyzing opportunities, thinking about investments, and then making a call as to whether he'll spend his employer's money. But I can tell you today, Connor, You've made the best investment decision of your life. Mutual sense of adventure is really like, seems to be at the heart of your relationship and uh, it is pretty inspiring and you know, it's, uh, it's something I aspire to. So, uh, here's to your continued adventure, I suppose. <laughs> and according to my granddad, it's this part of the speech that I'm supposed to offer some sage advice or wisdom to the happy couple. But I think after overcoming all of the obstacles, the Atlantic being one of the biggest, I'm pretty sure marriage will be the easy part for you guys. Today is about the best friend a guy could ever have. He's been lucky enough to marry one of the most beautiful and loving people I have ever met in my life. By the power vested in me by the state of Louisiana, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Connor, you may kiss your bride. May I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Kyo. Someday you will leave this world behind. Live a life you will remember.